And hello. This is something that I've called Vine News, because I don't know what else to call it. And essentially what I want to do is take a look at some trailers that have been released that um, people keep asking me about. And some stuff that I've seen, some I haven't seen, a couple things we can talk about, some video game related stuff, Warcraft 3 Reforged controversy, just a couple things. It's not going to be an, a, a tremendously long segment, but I figured let me get all this in one place. That way people can get my reaction to these things um, as they've been requesting. I still haven't had a chance, for example, to watch the Half-Life Alex videos. And so um, I'm going to watch those now. Also, hope you're all doing well. Um, in terms of news for me, I'm, I'm drinking a tea called Famous Tea's Royal Blend. So I'm assuming this is from the Queen's Backyard. It's from Fortnite and Mason. Oh, Fortnum and Mason. So, uh, thanks, Charles. Anyway, uh, that's all the news for me. Why don't we take a look at some of these trailers so that way I can talk about them a little bit and uh, you can get some reactions. First trailer that I wanted to look at was one that I've seen already, actually, and uh, it's Trials of Mana. Confirmed Mana. Sword lies in the roots of the mana tree. Now, before I begin, I just want to say um, I'm a big Secret of Mana fan, and Trials of Mana I've only played through one time when it was Seiken Densetsu 3, and I loved it, but I never finished it. And so I've been following this remake and hoping for the best, and I really like this trailer. We are searching for the elements Mostly. Near the mana stones of the world. You know, it looks like Dragon Quest XI a little bit, the art style. Um, much more simple. the elemental spirits of each stone living nearby. Thank you, Your Majesty. We will find the stones. But considering how impressed I was with Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, I feel like this could be good. This looks way better than the Secret of Mana remake. You can call me Hawkeye. I suppose you'll do. What? <laughs> what? So I, I've always liked this aspect of the game where you can choose your party. It's a mana stone. This is the first one I've ever seen in person too. Um, the music, by the way, in this trailer, I've listened to it. It sounds pretty good. Way better than the Mana remake um, music, Secret of Mana. <laughs> Combat system seems a little bit more free-flowing, a little faster. I always remember uh, Saiken and Setsu 3 have a, having a very slow combat system. This looks a little faster, but you still get that choice of, um, like the Final Fantasy VII Remake, you can go into a menu, pause time, and cast your spells and shit. You know, the moves look good, the animations look good, the characters look like Dragon Quest XI. Uh, so, I mean, I hope the gameplay is good. No multiplayer, which sucks, but I, I'll be playing it alone anyway. You got these different abilities you can equip, which uh, seems like a lot of fun. I can't quite remember if this was a thing in the original, like this customizable amount of things, but... Then again, I played it ten years ago, so... Um, I always love this aspect. You have different paths of which you can upgrade. I want to say it's a little like Fire Emblem in that sense. You can um, upgrade or evolve your, your Pokemon, I mean your character, into a different class. Um, I might go for Durin, Hawkeye, and Angela as my party. Those, those are my three favorite characters. But yeah, this looks just really solid to me, man. The graphics look nice. They're not mind-blowing, but they look good. They, you lose the pixel art, which is beautiful in the original. But this surprisingly looks like a competent remake. So you get all these different moves and stuff. Um, this was a you know feature of the original with the day and night cycle. 
which at the time was extremely impressive, and now it's just kind of commonplace, but... You know, this dude can turn into, like, a, a werewolf, I guess? <laughs> the environments are diverse, they look very simple. But, it's, that's appealing at least, the grasslands look alright. Um, I wonder if the PC version is going to have some extra detail. I think this is probably the, the PC version footage. Um, the Switch version, I hope, isn't too much of a downgrade, because I would get that. Look, it's a bumpkin. You can use it like a blapkin. The one who holds the mana sword gains awesome power. I mean... I'm glad Square is trying. Don't pre-order, by the way. Wait for the game to come out. Uh, I'm glad Square is trying, because the mana series has, li you know, has, has lain dormant, much like the sword. Um, and they've tried a couple things, and it's mostly been not great. And then that Secret of Mana remake was just embarrassing, mostly. But, um, you know, listen, cautiously optimistic. I have no great expectations for this to be, like, an amazing blow-away game. But I would definitely, definitely say that this trailer has renewed my optimism for it. And uh, it, just the combat itself looks a lot more fun um, than it maybe was in the past. So, let's uh, let's hope! You know, let's see what happens. Um, and, you know, maybe this will be a good game, and maybe the Mana series will continue from here. Maybe they'll actually figure out what the fuck to do with it. Uh, I want to say Chrono could be next, but ultimately, I don't know if Square Enix would do a good job with, um, with the Chrono series. I just don't know. I have no idea if they could, you know, do it um, justice. And also, there's just so much that is at stake with a Chrono game for someone like me, who holds it so dear. But then again, I did play Chrono Trigger Plus, and that was a mixed bag. But I mostly still enjoyed it. We will see. Again, Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, demo was good enough that I'm convinced I'll mostly enjoy both of them. Let's see what happens, though. So, next, um, before we do the Half-Life Alex stuff... Ignore that. Um, quick piece of Warcraft 3 news, since we're getting all the news out the way. Warcraft 3 refunded. You know, you would think it's been, like, over a month now, almost, right? Something like that. And, or almost a month. And you have no real new patches as far as I'm aware, but what we do have is um, a story where there is a tournament and the game was disconnecting for people. And uh, one of the best Warcraft 3 players in the world disconnected twice. And it was just a huge upset, huge mess. I didn't really fully read the story, but I just wanted to put this out there because Blizzard's been very silent. We got one patch that fixed a couple minor things. They've mostly been silent, and now this tournament was a shit show with disconnects and bad net code or something. And um, apparently he was winning both, and then the, the desync led to a loss. Is that correct? I just want to make sure I got this uh, right. That is correct. Mm. So Blizzard just continues to... Um, just continues to make everybody sad. So I just want to throw that in there real quick because I know people are going to ask about it. And, uh, yeah. So again, Half-Life Alex gameplay up in a second, but first here's another trailer that people um, were sending to me based on my love of a certain style of movie. This is Cloudpunk. And I don't really know what this is, so I figured, fuck it, let me throw it in here and see what, what it is. I think I saw footage of it at some point, and I liked it, but I forget everything, so... It, it looks nice visually. It seems like you just fly around. I don't really know what you do. Um, you upgrade... It seems like you, you, you upgrade your vehicle. 
and then Anakin drops onto your car and steals it to go buy death sticks. Alright, well this looks kind of neat. I might check this out. Yeah, it's fine. I don't really know what to say. People wanted me to react to this trailer, and... Yeah, it looks cool. I mean, listen, you know I'm a huge Blade Runner fan. So a trailer like this, I just need to see the gameplay. And for me, as far as I can tell, is you just um, upgrade and fix your vehicle and you, you fly around. So it might be a cool game to dig into for like an hour, uh, two hours maybe, and just fly around and enjoy the scenery. Because it certainly looks uh, nice and it, it gets the, the that vibe correct. So, yeah, it's fine. Looks like a taxi game. It's crazy taxi in this in the sky. You play as Bruce Willis in The Fifth Element. Vinny, how about World of Horror? I'm going to check that out at some point. Um, World of Horror is a game that I've been interested in. People have been recommending it, and I said I was going to stream it around Spooptober, but I may check it out earlier, but we'll see. Um, I might wait on that one. So, um, what else is there to say? I mean, in terms of news, like I said, I'm just happy to get all this stuff into one segment. So here's a piece of news. Final Fantasy VII Remake producer thinks it would be a waste to not return to Parasite Eve. Wow, I feel like a professional anchor. Um, I've never played Parasite Eve. So I guess Square is just going to remake everything. But if they don't remake it, a sequel would be interesting, and I might check it out. Who knows? And The Outer Worlds is adding text scaling. It took three months but apparently now you can scale the font. And Black Mesa is officially out, and it's, uh, it's very good, as you know. And, uh, all right, good. There's the news, everybody. So here, let's take a look at the last thing I wanted to show everybody. Um, so Half-Life Alex had three gameplay trailers, uh, and I watched the third one, and I haven't seen one or two. And the past couple days in chat, a lot of people have been wondering what I thought. And I liked the third one. It was the Combine fight. And, uh, well, let's take a look at one and two now. All right, well, you got a train. That's um, pretty classic Half-Life. We're almost there. My icing! So just keep in mind, chat, if I stream this game, it's not going to look nearly as smooth as this. But it'll kind of be like this, I guess. I'll be, like, jittering all over the place, you know? What are you doing with that head crab, Alex? Those are some good physics. Okay, so this is the locomotion system. Boy, am I gonna break everything around me when I play this. Um, but yeah, there's multiple movement options, and the one I would do is probably this one. Just because, um... I think I'm probably gonna get motion sick. Oh, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, most of me reacting to this is going to be, wow, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is a gun upgrade station. Interesting. Yeah, I was wondering, like, it seems like, you know, there's like, um, every time I've seen footage of this, it's only a pistol. And the pistol usually looks different, so that explains it. I guess with various attachments. Whoa. Ew. Yeah, it's gonna take me some time to get used to Alex's new voice actress. There's four weapon slots. Good to know. Thank you. Good to know. Oh, a health station. Russell. The Combine use these. Oh, right, that's three Starby. Are they for people? Uh, yeah, I use them all the time. Are you sure? Yeah, they're great. 
Uh, I was talking about how Reese. Oof. Hey. I was talking about how Reese Darby right. has his podcast. These are great. A new podcast about UFOs. I forgot he was in this for a second. That's that's really that's gonna be fun. Perfect fit for the Half-Life universe. Murray from Flight of the Concords. Yeah, th this looks like it's gonna be fun. Even if it's just shoot. Like, just point, shoot. I wanna do it. I wanna fight. Nice throw. Feels like there's a lot of weight to the uh, shooting. Like it's just got a satisfying plop to it. Oh, that's cool. I want to throw things at enemies. That's just the gravity gun, but it's my hand. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh man, that looks good. Okay, here's the thing, chat. Before we go on to the next one, I want to say a couple things. One, I'm still not 100% sold on VR, period. I've had my wonky experiences with it, and I've also um, had older VR. And, you know, it got me a little sick, but that was four or five years ago, so that's the early days of VR. I've since played it and played some shoot, I thought it was cool. So this could be the next step and, you know, five years of, of, you know, watching and waiting. And then here it is. So, yeah, I'm interested. I'm going to play it. If I can get an index, I will definitely try my best to stream this game. So, like I said, I worry about the movement and I also worry about me. I'm going to have to, like, clear my desk. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to have to sit back, make sure I sit in place. And like clear all the shit around me. So, yeah. I don't plan on standing up and and streaming this game. Index would you require you to? Well, I can read. Index would require you to clear your entire room. Well, there is a sit and play option. They apparently have an option that allows you to, kind of just sit in place. And that's lazy gamer. I am the lazy gamer, so I'm going to do that. Someone said, why index, though? Um, a couple reasons. I want to do it right. My answer has been, if I'm going to do VR for Half-Life Alex, I'm going to go I'm going to go hard, like Nard Ward. And I want to make sure I do it right, because if I get a lesser VR, I feel like it's not going to make a good impression on me. I feel like also, considering that I've gotten sick in the past from VR a little bit, um, I've heard the index is, is a very good choice in that regard. Now, again, I haven't researched it fully, but it just seems like the one I'm going to want if I can get it. Vinny, I'd look into all the options. Fair enough. I'll do that. But, um, yeah, some people in chat are saying take Dramamine first. I'm not doing drugs to play video games. Unless it's a really good video games. Um, another person said that the index is a great option. It's very comfortable and it looks really nice. So we'll see. Um, they're going to be available again real soon on Monday and I'm going to try my hand at getting one. So there's that. Um, another thing is someone said, Vinny, what about Ghosts of Tsushima trailer? I didn't watch that. Um, I'm only really uh, showing and talking about things that I'm interested in. But yes, a, a trailer did drop for that. Anyway. Ginger is good for nausea. Yeah, ginger ale is great for me. I like uh, I like that. So let's take a look at the trailer. This well, one. We've got to get you out of here and up to the roof. Number two. I'm working on it. Oh. 
Wow. This is like in Star Trek Picard, how they have like um, a computer space clear interface hologram that follows them all around the spaceship. Star Trek Universe advanced a lot in 25 years. Um, th this engine looks really nice, and, uh... I love the art direction. Look out. It definitely still feels like Half-Life 2. There's just, like, a lot of weight to the, um... to the air particles, if that makes any sense. Yeah, hyper-realistic is one thing, but just beautiful, stylized graphics like this that are close to realistic? Two thumbs up. Ugh, I don't want that. Who would want that? Gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a meatball. Why not just- whoa! Oh, that's bulletproof glass, huh? You may as well just, like, smash your fist through it. Break your computer monitor while you're at it. Oh shit, that's a meat grenade. Nice, okay. Alright, I like that idea. Is this, like, a little bit of zen? Really starting to think I shouldn't be breathing this stuff. Agreed. Just keep moving. Maybe breathe less. Maybe maybe breathe less. I fucking love Reese Darby, and I'm so happy he's the guy you're gonna be listening to for most of the game. So this is the, um, I guess this is which movement option are we looking at here? I didn't even consider for a second that we weren't warping around. Just smooth locomotion. This is, is this you walking around your house physically or is this like pressing a stick forward? So you're using a joystick, and you're moving around a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'd like to try that, and I, I would hope it would work, and I wouldn't get sick, but I remember when I played Half-Life 2 VR. That one was not good. Then again, it was five years ago, and I was moving at sonic speed, so... Think of it like gyro, joystick for big movements, actual movement for small ones. Alright, um, that trailer was more, like, just environment, puzzle-oriented. It looks great. I mean, again, my whole thing about Half-Life Alex is, fuck. You know, I wish it was just a tr traditional first-person shooter, but I appreciate that they're actually exploring the medium to its fullest extent. And this could be a, like, a big watershed moment for the VR. Um, thing and you know maybe that could be great i guess i was just kind of hoping for the one big vr game to sell me on it and this seems like it's going to be the one so so i guess here we go you know yay <laughs> let's see and then there's the third trailer which i already watched and just to not go into full detail about it it's a good one it's just a combat trailer with the combine and it looks really good. You can watch that on your own. There's other Half-Life Alex stuff that was released um, recently as well, including like a nine-minute walkthrough, I think, from some website. The IGN trailer. Yeah, I'm not going to watch all that now. I just wanted to kind of check out a couple of the official trailers that I missed. But needless to say, I am impressed and interested very much. So anyway, I'll let you know if I manage to snag an index. And if I don't, I'll look into some other stuff. 
And I guess that's it for Vine News. Anything else you want me to uh, talk about in relation to video games? Ghosts of Tsushima again. Yeah, that's that's not really my thing. So I didn't watch the trailer. Luigi's Mansion 3 DLC. It's it's multiplayer. Haven't watched it. Not going to play it. Last of Us HBO. Well, Craig Mazin, who did um, Chernobyl, is a very capable showrunner. I have no knowledge of Last of Us other than what I basically know from like um, some videos and osmosis. And from what I understand... You know, they're going to do an HBO show and, you know, it's the end of the world. There's fungus uh, among us. So I don't really have much to say about it, but I guess it kind of speaks to my point of because of the Sonic movie, the Detective Pikachu movie, the Castlevania Netflix show, which I haven't watched yet, but season three is now um, online. I'm going to watch that soon. I really do think that video game adaptations to TV and movie are going to be the next big Thing like Marvel so I've said it before maybe it won't be as big as Marvel but expect to see a lot more of it over the next couple years and the fact that HBO is getting one you know it's just making it more and more official so yeah uh, it could be good who knows there's still gonna be shit adaptations just like there's shit comic book movie adaptations but you throw enough shit at a wall it sticks some of it Vinny, speaking of Castlevania, Symphony of the Night is on mobile platforms. Yeah, I just wish they would get it on Switch with a proper port. That would be nice. And um, so you're excited for the Monster Hunter movie. Not really. This, the Monster Hunter movie is more... I saw the posters, and I... Was there a trailer for that where there were, like, Marines? Not Space Marines, but regular Marines? It, it didn't. It didn't look good. I don't know how I feel about that at all. And Halo Combat Evolved came out on PC a few days ago. It Yes, it, yes it did. And one day, I may check it out. I'm not down for another Halo game right now. But the fact that more and more Halo from the Master Chief Collection is getting ported over to PC makes me happy. Because um, one day... I have the Master Chief Collection on, on the Xbox One. And it's a very good collection. But one day I wouldn't mind streaming another Halo. But I'm going to hold off on the first one for now. So. Uh, let's see. Real quick. Vinny, how much do you know about Terry Gilliam outside of Monty Python? That's, that's not specifically a news-related question. But I will answer it because I'm a big Terry Gilliam fan, uh, mostly. I like a lot of his movies. 12 Monkeys, um, you know, Brazil. The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, Time Bandits. So, I do like his work, but he's got some clunkers, too. And, um, did you get a new DualShock? No. What are your thoughts on Palpatine clones? I hate them. Uh, I guess that's about it. Did you see the Doom Eternal TV ad? No, I didn't. I'll take a look at it real quick. It looks like it was uploaded a week ago. Is that the one? I, you know what? Vinny, don't? Why? Wait a minute. Why does this video have... People hate it? Yeah, you could, you could say that again. What the fuck is this? I gotta watch it now, chat. Alright, let's take a look. I was just hoping this wouldn't turn into an advertisement, but... If it's that bad, I have to find out why. I can't I can't let this one slide. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'm back. Uh so my computer crashed. I just it was frozen. The Doom Eternal trailer was so bad that it actually fucking froze my computer and I had to restart. So now we can watch it. March against it to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my mission. I'm here for the purpose. I give them that vision. We flip in that rhythm till everything searches. Day is the day we rebel with a purpose. 
Wait a minute. It's just so generic. Like the trailer doesn't stadia. The fuck is that? What is it? What is a stadia? Yeah, that I mean, the game is is inter I I want to play it, but that trailer did not sell me on it. It's just that was just a horrendously generic be eternal. And then the music was extremely not doom. Like I don't think of that music when I think doom. So, uh, there's one more variant of this trailer. And now Nintendo owns this video, more than likely. Yeah, I've seen the crossover plenty of times now. You know, everyone's crossing Doom over with Animal Crossing. But hey, it's better. Actually an improvement. Again, when I think of Doom, I think metal. I think fucking loud, dis distorted, crusty guitars. I think of like, you know, Doom 2016, like metal slash industrial music. And, um... then you have like these big words telling me to be eternal. I feel like I'm watching a Will Smith movie preview. It's like, be epic. Oh, whatever. Anyway. So there you go. That's the news, I suppose, um, including me crashing my computer in between. So I guess thanks for checking it out. This isn't a usual segment. I just figured there was a whole lot of stuff all at once that I wanted to talk about. I know people were going to ask me about it. So may as well, right? And Resident Evil 3 footage, I'm going to hold off on that. Maybe we'll take a look at that another time. Um, there's a lot of people in chat while I'm getting Devil May Cry together that are requesting that I look at... I see like three or four other requests for stuff. And I mean, we could, but then there's no time for video games. So I'm just going to pass on that. Sorry. Also, I have a question. I went shopping and I got some Chips Ahoy Thins and it's just half the cookie. Why is that a legit marketing strategy and why did I buy it? Also, do they put like some kind of crack in those cookies to make them more addictive? I don't know why I got the thin ones. I don't know. I was like, maybe it'll taste different. No, it tastes exactly the same. And I ate just as many as usual. I'm good. Sorry, I'm good. Everything's fine here. Hmm. No signal. <laughs> 